So here we have this equation. We can turn these cats into simple variables. Okay, so this is x cat. This be y cat. This is we have z, x, and y. So first we see this. 3x is equal to 30. Divide both sides by 3. You get x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10. Okay, then we have, okay, so 10 plus 2y is equal to 20. So, so subtract 10 from both sides, you get 2y is equal to 10, and then that ends with y, divide both sides by 2, y is equal to 5. 5 plus 2z is equal to 9. Subtract 5 from both sides, and we get 4. Then, divide both sides by 2, z is equal to 2. Moving on, we have this equation. Now, this equation is a bit bigger than all the other equations parts to this. Got this part times this times this plus all of this and this. So I will start off by doing order of operations. Everything in the parentheses is first, okay? So we have this equation first. Let's start this off. Now how would you simplify this? So this is segment 2. So now to solve for segment 2. First, we have 10. 10 over 5, which is just simply 2. Uh, 2 times negative 5 is equal to 10. And this as 5, this 2. Then you can see this is simply all of these times each other, so that's 25 times 2, so all of this is 50. Now, now I won't make a slip up here, this was negative 10, because it, it was negative, look, right there. So then, if you simplify all of this, what's the first thing you do here in order of operations? Is it parent? No, we already did the parentheses. It's exponents. So, what is 5? What is 10, negative 10 to the power of 5? Well, if you're not stupid, you would know it is negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, and that makes it 2,000. So now we have negative 2,000 over 50 times 2. We can, the 2 is effectively just on the top, so we can make this 4. That, so this would make it 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. So this is 400,000 over 50. That would be, we can cancel out zeros, and then 5 going into this. You can use a simple trick, multiply times 2, and then divide by 10. So, because multiplying something by 2 and then dividing by 10 is the exact same as dividing by 5. So, that brings us to 1, 8,000. So, 8,000 over 1. So, all of this is equal to 8,000 over 1. Don't forget the negative sign. Almost did that. So, this first section is negative 8,000. Negative. God, I feel like I'm going to make a small mistake and it's all going to be wrong. Um, then the next part. Now, now we got the big part done. Let's grab this next part and fill it out. What is this equal to? Well, we have 5 to the power of 5. Now, that's a little tricky. I'm pretty sure that it's 200... I mean, not 200. 625, but let me check that right here. 5 to the power of 5 is equal to... I was wrong. So it's 3... I was close. No, I would did times er, to the power of four, but I was wrong. Uh, three thousand one hundred twenty-five. So on the top, 
we can remove this, put down 3,125. Now this, this is a 10 cat, right? Yes. 10, so that's simply 10 times, because it's beside 0 right here, then divided by 2. So divided by 2, bring back over trusty calculator, because I'm lazy, divided by 2. And we get 15, 15, 6, 25. It's 15, 6, 25. Okay, now this is simply equal to, I'll rewrite it, it's simple enough. So why is this in parentheses? No good reason, just to make it look fancy. Um, so that's 10 to the power of 2. 100 times 5, which is equal to 500. I'll just write that. 500 over 2, and we all know what that is. If you don't, you're a stupid dum-dum. 250. 250. Well, if you have 5, and then subtract negative 5 from it, you get 10. I'm sure of it. And then if you multiply it times 2, you get 20. So I am for sure... This is 20. Well, let's, let's prove it. Negative 5 minus 5 times 2. Well, as you can see, this is 5. That's simply just 5 plus 5. The negative cancels out. This is equal to. There's no sneaky subtraction. This is pretty simple. We have, uh, this is equal to 5 over 10. Ooh, fractions. That's scary. That's really scary, actually. Please. <gasps> Oh no, it's plus, plus one. Rip the simplicity of this problem. They just added a fraction. So this is one and a half, I'm sure of it. Oh god, to the power of five. This problem is devolving. To the power of five. Delicious. Uh, no. <laughs> why did they have to do this? No, why? Why did they have to do this? This is... This is terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. 7.59375 And then all the way, finally, minus 6. So this is just negative whatever uh, 2 times 5 is. Well, that's 10. So minus 10. So 10. So now we have this big equation. So this section will all be done first, because it's all multiplication, it's on the right. Then, all of this, that will be done first, and then the end will subtract 10. So now there's two main sections. Oh god, we have this number times this number. I'm gonna pop out the good old calculator. 250. What do we get? Negative this. All of that, and then to the second section. And that is 20 times this horrid, horrid number. And then we add these together and then subtract 10. Uh, so 31 billion negative. So then we add 1. And then we get this number. So we just added that. We get a smaller number. Um, then we subtract 10. And you get this number. And so the correct answer is this. And if you think it's mixed, then you get negative 3,144,999,858.125.